I like to talk about chronic pain, particularly those people who have disc involvement. One of the most important things that we can do is hydrate ourselves. The majority of our discs are uh, made with water and fluid. Unfortunately, we do not have the circulation like the disc had as a child. As we get older, it gets very little blood circulation to the area, very little nutrients to the area. And the best thing that we can do is movement. Movement by using the law of diffusion to help nutrients, vitamins, blood circulation, oxygen, and all other good things get into the disc to keep the integrity of the disc and the el elasticity of the disc uh, working at its maximum potential. Although many people who suffer with pain, these discs need fluid, they need water. When they don't have the proper hydration, those discs are not going to function and work the way they're designed to work, causing more potential inflammation, causing more pain, causing more stiffness, and more irritation upon the nerve roots. The discs are cushions, and they act to keep the vertebrae apart, allowing the space where the nerve comes out between the vertebrae to breathe to where there's no irritation and pressure on it. Although the discs actually are meant to, to bend forward and bend backwards and bend sideways and rotate both ways, when there is a lack of water, when the discs are dehydrated, the function and integrity of the discs are not going to work the way they're designed to work. The end result is inflammation, irritation, and pain. So I cannot urge people out there, people who are who are in chronic pain, who have chronic disc problems, disc degeneration, herniated discs, bulging discs, to start hydrating and watch the difference in your health. Hopefully you'll see a huge change. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.